the soap film is like a sandwich. It's two layers of soap molecules on either side of a filling of water and soap molecules. With gravity, the water between the faces of the soap film drains down, making the soap film thin at the top and wide at the bottom. When the thickness of the soap film matches the wavelength of each color of light, that color of light can be canceled by interference or intensified by interference, depending on the exact fraction of a wavelength between the soap films. At the very top, when it goes transparent, the soap film is thinner than one wavelength of light. When you hear about nanotechnology, this soap film that you can make with dishwashing liquid at home is the simplest example of something that's nanometer in scale. It's just a few hundred nanometers thick, and when it's that thin, it reflects no light at all, becoming completely transparent. The white paper is really important. It takes the room light, which is in the ceiling of the room, and bounces it upward onto the soap film and then up into your eyes. So don't neglect the white paper. If you want to understand exactly what's going on, try the snack soap film interference model and have a lot of fun looking at these wonderful colors created by thin, transparent soap films. Thank you.